So we're kind of heading to Speedway, the home of the Indianapolis 500, and passed by Chapel Hill, which is kind of an established, older neighborhood, probably 70s, 60s and 70s ranches. And there's a garage sale sign with a big fat arrow. And we like those. I don't like addresses. Show me arrows. Just give me a lot of signs. Um, and we're almost there, and this looks like it could be interesting, so we will check it out. Hey, so that wasn't too bad. I got uh, this McCoy set on a Lazy Susan. Da -da -da -da. She had a $5 on it, and I got it for $3. So I'm happy with that. I just think it's cute. So even if it didn't sell, I am going to keep it. Great find. I just got my car washed, and for some reason... I don't know if it's like this everywhere or just around here, but there's road construction everywhere. And you can probably hear all the bumps and stuff, so we need the road construction. But it's everywhere at the same time. And it's really hard to keep a clean car. And I just wanted to share that. I also want to share that I really hate garage sale signs that send you on a wild goose chase. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Since we are in Speedway, the home of the Indianapolis 500, I thought I'd just give you a glimpse to prove it. Now you don't have to come. Oh, here's the entrance. And they're on it. So this next one we're going to check out is a huge garage sale. And we know what that means, right? Whenever they say huge garage sale or... Um, garage sale or a multi-family garage sale, I'm usually a little skeptical because it's kind of like um, overcompensation, is that what you call it? It just seems like you go and there's two tapes or they had to have a multi-family sale because they only had a few things per family, so it ends up being a regular sale and it's usually a bunch of baby clothes and toys and kind of jumped up to that one. But, you know, that's part of the second life is just um, checking it out. Gotta check it all out because you never know. And I'm proven wrong all the time. My dad will tell you. Okay, that was fun. Um, I think I, I know I spent $15 and I got a trunk load of stuff. That was very exciting. That's one of those sales that, um, you know, you get two or three of those a year maybe where people just want to get rid of things for a dollar. I got some uh, tooled leather purses, and I got um, just, oh my goodness, can't wait to show you what I got.